before he left this morning with his vintage double-decker from England. He did a 40-point safety check. As well, we have a fire extinguisher and first aid kit on board in the unlikely event of an emergency. And to ensure you take away only the best of memories of your wine visits today, I would ask that you please remain seated while the bus is in motion. Please wait for the bus to come to a complete stop before you get up from your seat. This morning uh, we're going to be doing one hour uh, runs or one hour circles or all day we are actually and today we're going to be doing an opposite route than as listed on your brochure and so we're starting backwards we're going to go counterclockwise and so our first stop this morning will be at Gasparo Vineyards we'll continue along to Lackady make a stop eventually at Luckard's Vineyards then on to Grand Pre Winery and Muir Murray Winery. It will take about an hour to make each of those stops and then we'll return to Wolfel to pick up any additional guests. So if you wish to stay on board, you can continue on and visit the, uh, the wineries. It's kind of a, a hop on, hop off, so you can get on at your convenience at whatever your preference might be of the winery you wish to visit. So you don't it off at the first stop or stop at each of the wineries in the order that they're listed. We'll be doing top off circles or routes until 3.30 and at 4.30 we'll be doing our final round for the wine day. Country, the third largest place in Canada for wine industry. I'm with Dave Hubble uh, with the Business Development Corporation. So Dave, tell me about what's going on here. Oh my gee, Steve, we, we've, we've been having a great time. Uh, this is Thanksgiving weekend in the yes. Valley. Lots of color, lots of activity. We have welcomed well over 1,600 visitors to Nova Scotia wine country wow. since we began this program Labor Day weekend. Every weekend, our numbers continue to climb. People are having a great experience and enjoying everything that we have to offer here. So, so tell me a little bit about how this all works. There's a wonderful double-decker bust here. Uh, Unusual for the Annapolis Valley, we have tours that are going on all over the wine country. Where do they go and what do they do? Well, I tell you, this was an idea, Steve, between the Wolfel Business Development Corporation, the town of Wolfel, and the five wineries that are surrounding Wolfel. We sat around one table and we said, if we want to be bold and say this is the center of wine country in Atlantic Canada, we need to have an event to authenticate it. We gelled some ideas, the yeah. double-decker bus was born. Um, so we've been uh, in the planning stages for four or five months. The longer term plan is to create a fall festival centered in Wolfel that's everything wine and food. A signature idea. tourism event where we're going to bring lots of people to the Annapolis Valley to experience all the wonderful things yeah. we have to offer. So obviously this is the first year and it's going to get bigger and better. And any other plans this year? Well, we're, we have one more weekend left for the bus. And, uh, and then we're going to begin planning for next year, where we hope to add additional events that will supplement the bus and again help to create a festive atmosphere where we celebrate everything food and wine in and around Wolfville. Wonderful. So you heard it here first. We've got exciting news for next year. Until next time, I'm with good old Dave from Wolfville Business Development Corporation. I'm Steve. If you haven't had a chance to get down to the wine festival here, we've got one more weekend to go. Till next time. See ya. See ya. And we got a helper here too. <laughs> <laughs>